Get your amateur radio license in about a week. I'll show you how to make it happen by doing it myself and taking you along for the ride. Now, I haven't actually done this yet, but I intend to, and we'll see how it pans out. I'm Pat Deacon, co-founder of Psychogenic, and I've been thinking about airwaves and EM a lot these days, and it brought back something that's been floating around ever since I was a teen, but never did anything about until now. To break out of the ISM bands and start playing in other areas, I've decided to get my amateur radio license, aka do some ham radio. Some may wonder what the point is in this age of internets where we can work together every day without ever actually meeting in person. But I think the amateur radio playground is vast and deep and interesting, even more so than I know. Some people like to collect long distance contacts, exchanging with people thousands of clicks away. Some like to talk to the International Space Station as it zips by. And some get their kicks by bouncing communications off meteor trails and the moon. Really. But these are just the old classics. If you're interested in those, or maybe hardware, electronics, physics, community service, packet radio, digital comms, providing emergency assistance, survivalist type stuff, antennas, phased arrays, massive MIMO, satellite communications, weather stations, remote monitoring, solar phenomena, and more, because these are just the ones I can think of that are interesting to me. If any of that sounds cool, then maybe you want to be a ham too. Now, the rules depend on country, but it's usually cheap or free and simple to set up. In Canada, all you need is an address and to pass a test, and you get a call sign and access to the airwaves for life. The hardest part is probably memorizing the country-specific administrative details. Eh, ain't no such thing as a free lunch, and it's just not that hard. Which is what I intend to prove by getting my basic qualification in about a week, and then we'll see where we go from there. I'll show you the resources I find, and more importantly, anything I stumble upon that's surprising, annoying, difficult, or especially interesting. I'm doing this in Canada, so a few jurisdiction specifics will probably creep in, but the physics are universal. And for the most part, things are similar everywhere thanks to the ITU and the fact that radio waves don't care about your lines on a map. In terms of equipment, you don't actually need anything. I mean, your brain, a calculator, an internet connection. That's pretty much it. But here are a couple of things I'll probably be using because I already have them around, namely SDR. Now I've got a HEC RF up here somewhere and a Lime SDR. These are pretty Pretty sweet devices at a decent price, uh, but they're probably overkill if you're just playing around. The easy way into software to find radio are these RTL SDR dongles. 20 bucks and you get to explore a huge chunk of frequencies. You can't quite get into the Wi-Fi ISM type bands with these guys, but you can scroll around a whole bunch of amateur radio frequencies and see what's up there. So though it's not required, I'll probably be playing around with these during the week and uh, yeah, you might want to get one just because they're fun. Okay, time to get started. 